Hello, today we'll be going through practice questions 1 to 10 for the Linux Essentials exam. Let's begin. Which of the following types of bus can connect hard disk drives with the motherboard? The correct answer is D, the SATA bus. The SATA bus is specifically designed to connect storage devices like HDDs, SSDs, and optical drives to the motherboard. It replaced older technologies like PATA and is the most common interface used in consumer desktop and laptop systems. Why the other options are incorrect? A. The RAM bus. This connects the RAM to the memory controller or CPU, not storage devices. B. The NUMA bus. NUMA refers to memory architecture in multiprocessor systems, not a physical bus for hard drives. C. The CPU bus. This connects the CPU to the chipset, memory, or other components, but not directly to hard disk drives. E. The auto bus. This is not a recognized or standard computer bus, likely a distractor. Therefore, the correct answer is D. Members of a team already have experience using Red Hat Enterprise Linux. For a small hobby project, the team wants to set up a Linux server without paying for a subscription. Which of the following Linux distributions allows the team members to apply as much of their Red Hat Enterprise Linux knowledge as possible? The correct answer is D. CentOS CentOS is a free, community-supported distribution with RHEL. It allowed users to leverage their RHEL knowledge and tools without requiring a paid subscription making it ideal for testing, development, or small projects. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Ubuntu Linux LTS While stable and widely used, Ubuntu is Debian-based and differs significantly from RHEL in package management and system layout. B. Raspbian This is optimized for Raspberry Pi devices, based on Debian, and is not similar to RHEL in structure or management. C. Debian GNU Linux Though stable and widely respected, Debian is not RHEL compatible and uses a different ecosystem. E. OpenSUSE This is based on SUSE Linux, with its own tools like Zipper and Yast, and does not align with RHEL's administrator methods. Therefore, the correct answer is D. What information can be displayed by top? The correct answer is B. Running processes ordered by CPU or RAM consumption. The top command is used to monitor system processes in real time, displaying information such as CPU usage, memory usage, PID, user and command. It typically sorts processes by CPU or memory usage, making it useful for identifying resource-hungry processes. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Existing files, ordered by their size. This is something LS, LHS, or DU might do, not TOP. C. User accounts, ordered by the number of logins. TOP does not provide user login statistics. Tools like Last or Who are used for that. D. User groups, ordered by the number of members. TOP does not manage or display group membership info. Use get ent group or group file parsing. E. User accounts, ordered by the number of files. Top does not analyze file ownership or file counts by user. A command like find with wc-l would be used for that. Therefore, the correct answer is B. Which of the following commands can be used to resolve a DNS name to an IP address? The correct answer is D. Host. The host command is used to resolve a DNS name to an IP address and vice versa. It performs DNS lookups and is commonly used to troubleshoot or verify DNS functionality. For example, hostexample.com. Why the other options are incorrect? A. DNS name. This is not a standard command for DNS resolution. B. DNS. There is no built-in or widely used command called DNS. C. Query. This is not a standalone DNS resolution command. E. IP lookup. This is not a standard DNS resolution command on Linux systems. Therefore, the correct answer is D. What is the UID of the user root? The correct answer is E, 0. The UID of the root user is always 0 on Unix and Linux systems. 
This special UID grants full administrative privileges and is used by the system to identify the super user. Why the other options are incorrect? A. 1. This is usually reserved for system accounts, not the root user. B. Minus 1. This is an invalid UID. UIDs must be non-negative integers. C. 255. This is within the range of regular or system users, but not assigned to root. D. 65536. This is too high for root, and typically used for system users or dynamically assigned UIDs in some configurations. Therefore, the correct answer is E. What is true about the owner of a file? The correct answer is A. Each file is owned by exactly one user and one group. In Linux Unix systems, every file has one user and one group associated with it. These ownerships control how permissions are applied to users and groups accessing the file. Why the other options are incorrect? B. The owner of a file always has full permissions when accessing the file. This is false. Permissions are set explicitly. Owners may have limited access depending on the permission bits. C. The user owning a file must be a member of the file's group. This is not required. A user can own a file with any group, regardless of membership. D. When a user is deleted, all files owned by the user disappear. This is false. Files remain but are owned by a non-existent UID until reassigned. E. The owner of a file cannot be changed once it is assigned to an owner. This is incorrect. The chown command can change file ownership. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Which of the following permissions are set on the TMP directory? The correct answer is A. The TMP directory typically has permissions, which means everyone can read, write, and execute the directory. The sticky bit ensures only the file owner can delete or modify their own files even though others have write access. This is critical for security in shared temporary storage. Why the other options are incorrect? B. This is invalid and incomplete for a directory. C. S indicates a set UID set GID bit without execute. Not valid here. D. Has a set GID without execute. TMP needs full access. E. This lacks write permission, making it unusable for a temp directory. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Which command adds the new user tux and creates the user's home directory with default configuration files? The correct answer is B. User add dash m tux. The user add command with the dash m option creates the user tux and automatically creates the home directory with default configuration files copied from Etsy scale. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Not a valid command. C. This is invalid, also not a standard Linux command. D. Dash O allows duplicate UIDs. Default is not a valid argument here. E. Password changes passwords. Dash A is not valid in this context. Therefore, the correct answer is B. Which of the following keys can be pressed to exit less? The correct answer is D. Q. In the less pager, Pressing Q quits and exits the viewer. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Does nothing by default in less. B. X. Not a quick command in less. C. E. Use to scroll forward one line, not to exit. E. Exclamation mark. This runs a shall command from within less, not for quitting. Therefore, the correct answer is D. Which of the following commands sorts the output of the command export logs? The correct answer is D. Export logs sort. The pipe sends the output of export logs directly into the sort command, allowing the output to be sorted. Why the other options are incorrect? A. This tries to run export logs with input from sort, which is backwards. B. This redirects output to a file named sort, not the sort command. C. Runs export logs in the background and runs sort separately. They are not connected. E. This is invalid and nonsensical redirection syntax. Therefore, the correct answer is D. We have come to the end of today's video. If you liked the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye.